This is a video about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in Excel and our video is going to show you how to do VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP between multiple worksheets. Hope you enjoy it. Part 1, VLOOKUP. We start with this pre-made workbook. We have our student ID, name, faculty, and we want to know the nationality of the students. And in our second sheet, we have that information here. And so what we want to do is we want to pull that information into our other worksheet. First of all, we're going to look at this second worksheet and we're going to select all this information and actually create a new table. We're going to do that by coming up here and going to insert and then come down to table and just click it like that. And so uh, after we do that, we're going to go to the data uh, uh, and table tools and uh, rename and we're going to rename this table nationalities. Okay, nationalities, pretty simple. Press enter. So now we have this beautiful nationalities table, column one, column two. So we come back over here and we have column uh, uh, nationality right here. And so we're going to begin writing our uh, VLOOKUP function. So equal V, and you can just click on that first one, VLOOKUP. And we're going to select the lookup value, which is the name, comma. And then we're just going to type that name of the table that we want it to look up. And that's our table array. So nationalities and then comma. And remember, it's the second column, column index number. That's what this means right here. Column index number is the second column. So we're just going to type two and then a comma. And for this last part, we're going to write false. Just type false. Oh false and uh, if we wanted to find an approximate match we'd write true but because we're looking for an exact match we're just going to type false so we go ahead and press enter and there we have our nation let's go ahead and see it looks like it's working but let's see kinley zam let's see if we can find her kinley zam first one nationality myanmar okay so it looks like it is working just fine now what we're going to do is we're just going to come down here to the bottom right corner when that cross turns black double click and there you go you have that full uh, data imported working wonderfully part two HLOOKUP okay welcome back guys this is part two of our video tutorial and this is where we're going to show you how to use the HLOOKUP function H for horizontal so we have two sheets here two new sheets top students which is a list of our top students, their name and their student ID. And we want to know what place they are in the class. And so we have the placements uh, worksheet over here. And we have the student IDs up here and the place here. So here we go. Uh, we want to write our function here equals H lookup. And then we're going to use this as our lookup value here, the uh, student ID and then a comma and then for the table array we're just going to click on the tab now every time we do this clicking on the tab it's going to put more information into our sheet letting it know that we changed tabs and we're going to go back and delete some of the information it automatically adds in for us because we don't need all that back and forth information and in fact it's going to confuse the system so I'm going to click on placements I'm going to select this whole bit of information here there we go. And then I'm going to click back and you can already see this equation is getting pretty long. So we're just going to delete all this to that plus sign. Click here and we're going to add in these dollar signs. And then after we do that, we're getting information from the second row. So we type two and then false uh, since we're looking for exact matches. Okay. And then enter. And there you go. So let's see if that's right. Three. Um, Kinley Zam, student ID 591. 8080, 591-8080, let's see that, 591-8080 is 3, and that's exactly what we got here. So it looks like it's working, and so we can just double click this crosshair, black crosshair, and then we get all the numbers. So there you have it, using the HLOOKUP function to pull information from another sheet in your workbook.